Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video I'm going to show you how we can use tags in a couple of different ways inside WooCommerce and how we can use those to really make your shop a much easier experience for the end user. So stick around and check out all these new cool things you can do with just using tags. So tags have been around a long time inside WordPress and we can utilize the power of those tags in WooCommerce itself. And this is a great way of making sure that you can give the end user multiple different ways of finding and linking products together. So let's take a look at what tags are to start off with. So you can see I'm in the product section and we're looking at all the products we currently have listed on our store. We have a column over on the right hand side that says tags and as you can see a couple of the first ones have a single tag associated with it. It's a clickable link so we can go through and we can find out all the products that kind of fit that particular criteria. Now let's just jump into one of these products and take a look a little further. So we're going to come down to this premium quality. We click and open that up. What we can do in there is if we scroll down you can see on the right hand side we have a product tag section. Now we can start typing tags in there or we can start typing and we can use common tags that have been used. So let's just say for example with this one we want to sort of assign this to a brand or something. So let's just say we're going to assign this one to Peacemake TV. So let's just oop, click in product tags and put Peacemake TV in there. Now because nothing's associated with that yet, it's a new tag, it'll search, see if there's anything in there. If it doesn't find anything then nothing will show up. I can click add if I want to at this point to assign this to this particular product or I can put a comma in there and I can uh, type something else in. And you can see as I start typing or as I do anything in there, we'll get the little sort of timer will sort of show up in the right hand side of that. That sort of tells us it's searching through our current list of product tags to find out if we have something matching what we're typing in. So let's try another one in there and let's just say we'll put posters or something. Let's just put poster art. Okay, so we've got two things in there now. If I click on add, that'll add those underneath. You can see I can click on the X to remove those if I want to. Scroll back up, we'll hit update so that page has now been saved. So, you can kind of think of these as categories, but instead of having tons and tons of categories, you can use these tags to kind of group products together or associate them. So, let's just say you wanted to use it for a brand as an example. Then we could have everything that's Peacemake TV, and then we could use that to link those products together, depend, you know, independent of whatever kind of product they actually are. So, we've updated that. And if we come back over to our products, we'll take a look at this. So let's just click and open this up, take a look. So you can see now, if we look, we've got category posters and we've got tags, poster art and Peacemeg TV. So if I click on one of those, then it'll go through and find any other products that are associated with that. We jump back, I can do the same thing for poster art. Obviously, we've only got one at the moment. So let's go back and just add a couple more into that. So let's just come back in, go back to our products and we'll do this a couple more times. So one of the nice things we have when we're working with WooCommerce is we don't need to go in and open the entire product up. So let's just come down and we'll use the quick edit. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a couple of these different things. So we're going to say we'll have this one, this one, this one, and this one. So what we're going to do now is we'll just come up and we'll say a bulk action of edit and apply. That opens that up. And all we can do now is we can start adding our product tags in there. So again, we'll do Peacemeg TV and we'll do poster art. Again, you can see it automatically looks to see if we have those listed in there. So if you don't want to make a spelling mistake, you can simply click and add that one in there. Then when we click update, all of those ones we've selected will now have that tag applied to it. And as you can see, there they all are. So now if we just jump back over to this and we just hit poster art, we should now have a couple more products associated with it. So that's pretty cool. So that's one way we can use it, one of the default ways of using it. But there's more ways we can enhance the sort of the user experience. So let's come back over to our admin section and let's just jump over to the appearance and come down to menus and once we open the menus up if you don't see anything down the left hand side where we can choose all these if you don't see a tags option in there if we go to the top right hand corner and click on screen options we now have product tags as an option in there so we can click on that and that'll make that available to us now we can expand that out and you can see all of the different product tags we've got can now be assigned to a menu structure so let's just say we wanted to create a new menu and we wanted to call that, we'll create, first of all, we'll come down, hang on, let's just go up through, and we'll say a custom link. And we'll just put a, a menu in there, and we'll call this one tags. So we'll create a null menu, and we'll call this tags. Add to menu, and now what we can do is we can come to the product tags, we can select all of these, add them to our menu, and just simply set those to be 
child of the tag section and click save menu so now we've created some tags we've assigned those to different products and we've come into this and we created a custom menu and we've assigned in those product tags so we can now make that a custom way of moving around so let's refresh this so we get our new menu and you see tags now shows up and you can see we now have a couple of options we click on music all the ones that have music associated with them all the ones that have piece make tv associated with them and all the ones that have poster art associated with them so a really great way of being able to offer another method of allowing people to sort of filter through the different products you have for sale on your website and also how to tie those into a menu structure all quick very very easy to work with well that's just a quick tip i wanted to show you on how we can enhance the power of working away around our website on our product section by using tags in wordpress well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content that's added every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.